Android 12 Beta 4 unstable build on the POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And what do we have here? Well, we have an unstable build of Android 12 Beta 4 for the POCO F1. Now do note the creator behind this build is me and I call this build the script kiddy Frankenstein build because I am not a pro developer. I just read some instructions, followed some steps and this is the end result. Do note volt probably not working there are other minor issues as well so in my opinion this is not a daily driver at all because 90 percent of you won't be using it so i do not see any point in releasing this build but the video is to show you the power of the poco f1 and how good of a device it is years later as well however if you want to play around with the build and want it released i will have a poll in the community tab if we have enough votes enough interest i can always upload the build installation is as easy as flashing a zip file so as you already saw the easter egg works without any issues so this is our home screen we can press and hold on the empty space go into wallpapers and style here it is dark theme toggle themed icons have now been changed to beta because they do not apply to the third party icons google feed is there and as you can see the scrolling is pretty smooth go back to the home screen smooth animations let us check out the app opening animations so the app opening animations are not smooth there is a little bit of lag in the ui and other than that have a look at the recents bam these are your recents of course in the recents you can now share the link directly or with the new beta press and hold on this image and bam you see the lens options which popped up there it is i can also share it drop it over here and now i should be able to share this image using either nearby share or say messages bluetooth i can also edit it so this new editor which you have this is different from beta 3 the lines which you see over here these can be moved around using the center you have these nubs in the center these guys over here so you can crop the image using these in beta 3 you had to move from the edges which in fact was a real pain then another thing you will notice is that the lock screen weather is working without any issues and before i forget so you do have the monet enabled or the material you enabled gboard those of you who are worried about the space this can be customized in the keyboard settings next up we can also head over to the quick settings panel so this is the quick settings panel this is how it's going to look like and with Android beta 4 the notifications in landscape mode they are a bit different so here it is you can see the notification is now smaller and centered looks better in my humble opinion and again you can see the animation is not smooth of course the wallpaper did get a bit weird when we switched from the portrait to the landscape and now let me try to switch back all right so another thing you might notice is that the contents of the quick settings panel they are not aligned properly so you can see the battery the wi-fi icon over the brightness bar now i do not know whether this is an issue with beta 4 or an issue with this specific build next up we can go into settings so again the animation is a bit laggy initially but then once you keep playing with it it does get a bit better but again not perfect so this is how your settings is going to look like and bluetooth connects but there is no audio in the connected device so that is another bug on this build next up google assistant yep yeah. so the assistant works here it is hey how are you see google assistant 2.0 is there but the app keeps on crashing and again the hot word is broken and that was the case with beta 3 as well but in this build even if you invoke it manually it does not work then we can move over to battery so in battery you do have your battery saver and do note this is a pixel 5 gsi so you do have your extreme battery saver and if you go into adaptive preferences you have adaptive charging and adaptive battery other than that you can also enable your battery percentage and have a look at that battery usage 
me personally i did not notice any excessive battery drain then if you go into sounds and vibration here and all the internal audio works absolutely fine your sound from the speaker works absolutely fine no such issues with that respect vibration works the haptics work of course the vibration on the poco f1 is not as great going to display of course adaptive brightness works without any issue going to lock screen and surprise surprise somehow always on display works i was like super surprised to so have a look at that animation oh my god and here it is always on display working out of the box and the animations of always on display oh my god and wait for it wait for it let me access the fingerprint scanner wait for the animation oh yeah one more time one more time oh yeah so yep you can see always on display somehow surprisingly works now playing of course you do not want to enable this this is only going to cause audio and media lag then double tap to check is broken lift to check is broken wake screen for notifications works without any issues going to screen timeout and screen attention also works without any issues then you can of course schedule your dark theme and stuff you can schedule your night light colors changing between natural boosted and adaptive seems to be working auto rotate of course we saw it works and other than that we can move over to wallpapers and style so this of course is the new ui from google and you have the new curated culture friendship day wallpapers and of course the accent color changes based on the accent color of the wallpaper applies to the icons as well you can of course access this option for your home screen as well again the animation is not pretty smooth i can see the lag visually you can change the application grid as well so all those features are there and working without any issues face unlock do not expect or hope to have face unlock on the pixel gsi ports other than that if you go into system and gestures this quick tap is broken swipe fingerprint for notifications is broken system navigation two options three button or gestures going to gestures swipe to invoke assistant can be enabled or disabled and then you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge one-handed mode is present and it works without any issues and another thing is you can always enable a one-handed mode shortcut so do you want the accessibility button or do you want to hold the volume keys once you enable this toggle bam here it is accessibility button which can of course be moved around and tap on it and you can enable and disable your one-handed mode then you also have something called rules so again if you want your wi-fi to turn off automatically once you leave your home that can be configured in rules then as for the applications here are the applications yes gcam ports are working without any issue on this build and as for your game dashboard it is present all you have to do is go into settings tap on search and herein you can search for the keyword game go into game settings enable game dashboard and then when you go back to your game you should have a floating bar on the right hand side as you can see we are not getting it right now so it does take some time for the changes to kick in let us switch over to some other application and then go back to pac-man bam here it is our gaming dashboard is there so you can have toggles for taking a screenshot and then this is your screen recorder fps toggle is also there dnd and yes youtube live is there and it works without any issues of course this floating bar can be moved around and as you can see it is now as small as an arrow so bam here it is move it to the edge changes to an arrow tap on it expands and now you can always move it to the other side as well next up in terms of safety net well the device or the build is pre-rooted out of the box all you have to do is install the magisk apk and once you have installed the magisk apk we can go into settings make sure magisk hide is enabled check for safety net check for it one more time and as you can see safety net is passing installing updating apps from the google play store works without any issues as well but surprise surprise play protect says device is not certified this means you will have to enable magisk hide for the google play store google play services 
and then you should be good to go we do have a video for that which can be found in the description of this video with respect to your youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works the animation when you switch from your landscape mode to the home screen with a swipe up gesture super dope super dope looks pretty great of course for picture and picture either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country with respect to google photos so either you get original which will count against your device or you can use storage saver which will not count against your device next up with respect to the portrait light feature if you go into edit and then you wait for the loading bar to finish we can go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light feature is present and it works without any issues of course do note portrait light only works on human objects with respect to your app opening animations they are there i mean of course they will be there this is pixel gsi but they are not smooth i mean sometimes there is a little lag or a little jitter so me personally i am not like super impressed with this but this is again a hacked up frankenstein build for the poco f1 which i made for my personal use to play around with android 12 beta 4 but the google feed is smooth as butter anyways that will do it for this video and hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you